welcome everybody to the uh, BQ 140 winner's announcement. I'm Firas Masin with my colleague Hamza Ahmed and this is Mr. Ibrahim Badruddin, the country manager at Bake.com. So thank you for being with us today. Uh, so just to let you know, we're just going to start off by announcing our winners and then uh, we will move on to discussing some of the answers uh, that we had. So the first winners that we had from our Twitter accounts were Ms. Mahanur Nadim, and we also had uh, Mr. Deepak Balraj. Those are our two selections from Twitter. Uh, from Facebook, we had Mr. Ahmed Madani. We had Mr. Uh, Minu Shahwan and Mr. Fahmi Nazim. From Twitter, I also have Bonifacio Jr., uh, Fatma Amir. And from Facebook, I have Ahmed Rauf, uh, Hussein Nazim, and Fahd Bibi. So, Hamza, why don't you start us off with Mr. Ahmed Rauf's answer, we can discuss that a little bit. Ahmed says that most companies and institutions are essentially businesses. It comes down to budget allocation. Only a very large or forward-thinking business can afford to allocate resources to train fresh graduates. He also says that, secondly, it's all statistics and probability. Not all graduates have a hard time landing their first job. The same way not all companies favor hiring fresh graduates. And lastly, he says that there are always market ups and downs, so you will often have an oversupply of graduates dependent on demand and market conditions. His answer is, is great. I would say that we can put some blame on the job seekers, definitely, mm -hmm. that the first professional job is very likely to happen on the 23rd birthday, <laughs> the moment they graduate. Mm -hmm. So the, usually the success of some great careers it was it, it was caused by some summer jobs it was caused mm -hmm. by by freelancing jobs by a lot of part-time jobs yes. that gave them life experience and this is something that people don't see value in it mm -hmm. now most of the jobs even if it's an entry-level job companies are looking at uh, I would say uh, life experience that yes. only comes through this type of jobs prior to graduation. So would you say that there is having very unrealistic expectations so they should really uh, you know, come better prepared before they get into a job market? Definitely. I would say that first we have to understand the expectation, the company's expectation. Right. Companies are expecting people to become productive at the earliest. Mm -hmm. So fresh graduate when we say fresh graduates, it means only it should mean one thing that he has never or she has never had any professional experience that's why we call it a fresh graduate however it doesn't mean that he or she should be absolutely fresh right, right, yes. so uh, fresh in the sense of professional job but it shouldn't exempt anyone any student from being part of any initiative any any freelancing job any part-time job so i think this is very crucial to be prepared for the market mm -hmm. and that's something given in, in any uh, job search, I would say. A good number of them did come up with the point that companies aren't willing to invest in someone if in one or two years they'll leave and you know go somewhere else. What is your opinion on that? Do you think companies really are hesitant in, in investing in someone with the fear that this person might just jump ship and go to another company or, or take that training elsewhere? See, I would say this is this is very interesting, by the way, in such market. Why? Because probably a very limited percentage of companies in this market are willing to invest. But what if you ask me what would be the drivers of a company uh, investing in someone, I would say this someone should sell himself or herself mm -hmm. to the company. Hey, I'm here, I have a lot of values, or I would say value adds, that you guys can benefit from me. So invest in me right. so a company does not come by default in a mode where i'm going to invest in everyone right so they usually they usually find out who should be invested in so this person who has going back to our logic from a while who has uh, a value to add coming from the life experience from the social interaction that he or she had during his or her university or school uh, life Definitely, it's an indicator for the company to come in and invest in this person. So it's usually an indicator of a successful or, I would say, promising professional. 
the next uh, point that uh, we uh, would like to talk about is one of our contestants, Mr. Fahmi Nazim, while he reiterated some of the points you mentioned earlier, said that um, a lot of companies, in his personal opinion, when after an interview we left a job interview, the, the people there talked about whether this person, they didn't really talk about you know, whether his skills or you know, his education, anything, but instead they talked about his behavior, demeanor, likability. Will he fit in with the values of, of the organization? Uh, do you think that that's something uh, uh, applicants should consider? Do you think that they should try and see like, what the values of the companies are? And when they go to an interview, try and see, connect their experiences with the values of whatever organization they're working for? 100%. I think this is a great answer because uh, this, this job seeker, this student, if he's realizing at an early stage that the values of the company might not be relevant to his values, so it's very likely to, to, to fail. Mm -hmm. So he's staying away from this company. Mm -hmm. that's, that's definitely a great criteria of selecting a good, a good um, company or a good career, I would say, with yes. this job or not, with this company or not. So sometimes I have a personal values that probably uh, has to do with innovation, creativity, but the company does not allow me to innovate and become creative one day. Do I have to expect a promising career with this company? No. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that this company is a bad company? No. Mm -hmm. It only means that it's a bad match between right. my profile and that, this company. Like square so, pegs and round holes, basically. Exactly. Yeah. So this company, in order for them to achieve a certain mission, they are expecting to hire a specific caliber and a specific profile. If I don't match this profile, it doesn't mean that I'm a bad guy, it doesn't mean that they are a bad company. Job seekers should seek at a very early stage for companies that, that actually require people with a very similar and relevant values right. to their personal values. That's the key, that's a trigger to succeeding in their careers. Would someone saying five or six years experience for entry level, is that aiming too high or would or would I be mistaken? See, I, I would say that uh, there's a perception that is uh, becoming very popular okay. uh, among all fresh graduates and uh, I would say uh, young job seekers. Mm -hmm. The perception is frustration. Yes. So it's very popular. Yes. It's very popular yes. that to to to, to 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 I would say justify the failure of getting a job. I don't want to say failure. The inability to get a job. Right by blaming the, the market yeah. or the employers. I would say definitely, five years of experience is not a fresh graduate job, Yes, definitely. And no doubt that the number of jobs that are required uh, by the experienced people exceed the number of jobs of fresh graduates, no doubt about that. But here there's a question mark on the ability to find the right and relevant job by conducting a search. Job seekers these days, I would say fresh, gra fresh graduates, they should understand their markets. They should know that this yeah. company is a highly technical company that has a world-class services and they are projects driven with a lot of tight deadlines. Right. Does, it mean, does it make any sense to expect from them to offer me a job to invest in me two years? They are in Qatar mm -hmm. to deliver a project mm -hmm. for one year and then they go back to, to, to their home country. Uh, this type of company is qualified to give me a job, fresh graduate job? Definitely not. So that the fresh graduate should understand what type of companies they might be interested in having me because having me means that they should spend few months at least investing in me and not expecting anything back in return. Yeah. So they should understand the market to wrap it up. They should understand really well the market, the industries, right. and the values of the company. Yeah. Research needs to be done. Definitely, and to understand the sources of fresh graduates. So most of the time, fresh graduates' jobs are not posted on some specific job portals. Right. You know that this job portal is highly perceived as a portal for experienced and technical people. Yes. So they go to X site and they start Applying. becoming frustrated that nothing suits them. So I would say that you need to understand the channel that suits you. Yes. There are some channels that probably you can speak to the career services of your universities. You can start talking to 
not any HR officer in a company because yeah. some HR officers by nature they take care of a job that might not be interested to communicate with you and they might not be interested to refer you to the right person so it's part of the market research that you try to understand before you kick off with any job search right. uh, well and uh, that wraps it up for uh, our video we'd like to thank Mr. Ibrahim and Bait.com for uh, being a part of this uh, we'd like to thank all the people who participated in our competition. We apologize for the ones that uh, were not selected. Uh, all the answers were great. We had a hard time selecting them. Uh, and we look forward to our next competition. And we hope that all of you who contributed the first time will contribute as well this time. So, thank you. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the little discussion that we had with Mr. Ibrahim from Bay.com. Now, we do hope that you liked it and do let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. At the same time, we hope that you can hit the like and share buttons. And at the same time, do stay tuned because we have some really exciting few things coming up in the next few weeks.